when you're part of CSL, there's definitely, you, you feel really this great heritage that's all around you, that you feel you have to measure up to all the great people that have been there, are still there. So it's, it's you know, it's both humbling and challenging at the same time, which is, which is very exciting. In CSL, it's about how, you know, well, how people get together and say, you know, here's some interesting challenges. And you know something, I know something. You know what? Well, let's let's see if we can actually just just put together our brains and just make it work, and it does. True collaboration in a multidisciplinary environment is what what makes it different. Um, uh, part of that has to do with uh, what's in the water in Champagne. I think we, that we drink it and we want to collaborate because this doesn't happen very much uh, in in this way in, in other schools. Uh, some of it has to do with the people that we're collaborating with are you know the best in the game at, at their games, and, and that's what's different. It has to do with size and it has to do with um, with excellence, and that's unique. Quite frankly, I wouldn't be where I am today if I weren't sitting with NCSL. Um, it it provides the opportunities to interact with, with other motivated faculty members. It gives you the environment to recruit students and to give them opportunities in multidisciplinary research that frankly aren't available other places in the world. I have a chance to talk to colleagues and sometimes put my ideas into perspective, right? You might have an idea that you think is fantastic, but then, you know, you go talk to someone and they sometimes either shoot it down or they send you over another direction that ends up actually have, being more fruitful. So it's very, very um, useful and actually it's very rewarding to have a chance to talk to people who are very smart and always are ready to help you and they're just so kind and nurturing. It's hard to pinpoint specifically what what one or two things make CSL uh, work. Um, it, it's really the, the, the operation as a whole. You have to come and experience the, uh, the environment. I guess if you have to put your finger on one thing, it'd be the people. Uh, the people in CSL create an environment that's highly collaborative. Um, if you took the, the infrastructure and you took uh, the resources and replaced all the people with a set of folks that didn't like to collaborate, that all operated with closed doors, uh, it wouldn't be the same, it just wouldn't work. There are many labs across the country, but none of them have that right mix, that right balance of uh, technical research staff and academic research staff and graduate students that uh, allows for both the fundamental research and the uh, short-term high impact that we've seen from CSL. I mean, I think CSL is well poised to solve the kinds of problems that we're facing now as a society because it's a place that has a real willingness to share insights across disciplinary boundaries. Because it isn't a traditional academic department, it means that you can sit on the same hallway with people and every one of them can have a different degree, a different training, and a different perspective on something. And so bringing that hallway of people together on the same problems invariably produces as many different perspectives on the problem as there are people. You can follow in our, in our field the developments in the field with what will uh, has happened at CSL. In a sense, you can say that the CSL researchers and the, and the research that's conducted at CSL has driven research elsewhere. In the next 10 years, CSL um, should keep doing the really good work that it's been doing. Nothing should change about that. Uh, but at the same time, it has to be relevant to the current problems, changing and seeing what the, the nation and really the world's problems are and responding to those. The world's best people are working on problems that, that matter to somebody, uh, enabling solutions to things that uh, need solving. And uh, we see more of that in the future, to be sure. You can't help but be proud of the discoveries that CSL has, has produced over the past 60 years. But what's really most exciting is that it's positioned itself to be the leader in the foreseeable future. If you've got an environment where people are really happy and really excited to come to work, um, good things will happen. And, and that's what CSL is about. Mm -hmm.